channel it's a girl Lissy. today we are talking about barbies so i tried my best to kind of look like a barbie even though i'm just this princess peach anyways that's not the point if you guys are new here hi i make weekly videos be sure to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on my weekly videos and smash like if you guys used to own barbies as a kid you see i used to own barbies as a kid but the thing is about me i didn't really like them i didn't really like most dolls i was just kind of different i don't know about you guys i was the girl who would like cut the barbies hairs draw on them make them look horrifying <laughs> and do crazy things with my Barbies. I was more of the type of kid who would want a Webkinz or a Littles Pet Shop for my birthday when I was a kid, but I always would end up getting stupid Barbie dolls and I was so sad about it. Now I don't really hate Barbies as much as I did as I was a kid. I kind of like them. I mean, I like the whole like pink Barbie aesthetic, but there are some very strange Barbies and some very concerning and messed up Barbies. And today we're going to be doing more about the dark truth about Barbies. And we're gonna be diving into the weirdest, most cursed Barbies ever created. So starting off with number one, we're going to be talking about the shave and play Barbie. This is essentially a Barbie that is full of body hair and the whole objective is to shave the Barbie's hair off. Yes, you heard me correctly. How is this even a thing? I have no idea. This is easily the most disturbing and disgusting Barbie that I have ever seen in my entire life. Who this day? The doll's description says, you've played with the regular Barbie, but this is a shave and play Bobby. They call it a Bobby instead of a Barbie because it's a ripoff of a Barbie. And she isn't like any other doll you've ever played with. She is furry and ready for a trim. Whip out the razor that's included with your shave and play Bobby, Barbie, I don't know. And give her a style of her own. Barbie will love her new silky smooth hair free self. I honestly don't know who thought that that was a good idea, especially with the factor that the kids who would play with a Barbie doll aren't even like old enough to shave themselves yet. Like little girls are not gonna know or need to know how to shave at that young of an age. So that was kind of weird. I don't know know what who would want a really hairy Barbie just looking at the images of that Barbie doll makes me a little uncomfortable she literally has hair on her arms her legs probably even her chest for heaven's sake I don't even want to know where else she has hair to be honest that is a terrible idea it's cursed it's horrifying and um I don't I hope any of you guys would want to own one of these, but if you do, they are for sale on Etsy and there are sellers who create these Bobby dolls um, because they're not an actual Barbie, but they're a form of a ripoff of a Barbie and it's just so disturbing to look at. So if you guys wanted to buy one, well, they're there for whoever wants one. Kind of hilarious as a gag gift though, can't deny that. It would be a funny gag gift. So the next controversial and dark Barbie we're going to be talking about is the Barbie Wash and Watch. So looking at the packaging of this Barbie, you can already see where we have a problem with this position. Specific Barbie. A lot of the older Barbies kind of conveyed to women that they were only meant for one thing, and that thing was the kitchen. Yeah. That is so messed up and not okay. Obviously, women can do all sorts of jobs, and to this day now, they've created Barbies in all sorts of uniforms and all sorts of scenarios, but back in the day, they put a lot of the Barbies in the kitchen, and they kind of portrayed that to girls, that that's what they had to do. So in this Barbie kit, Barbie stood in her kitchen watching her dishes, and this Barbie was released in the year 1991. Gotta love Barbie, guys. So obviously, a lot of parents were mad about this when they saw the release of this. A lot of women were mad about this, that they had to make a specific set targeting just washing dishes in a kitchen which is kind of a weird objective for little girls to play with a doll and all you do is sit there and clean dishes so didn't end up well another doll that did not end up going very well for Barbie was the pregnant midge Barbie so we've seen pregnant Barbies before but the twist on midge was she was a teenager yes obviously teen pregnancy is a thing but a lot of parents did not want to encourage that to their children that you should get pregnant at a very young age you can already assume where the problems began with making a very young girl into a pregnant Barbie. In the early 60s, Mattel faced a lot of criticism that Barbie was too much of an adult symbol. So in 1963, they released Midge the doll to quell all the complaints she was getting. It must have worked because Midge was mostly MIA until the 80s when she reappeared as a regular in the lineup of Barbie. The horrifying image before you is indeed a child's plaything. In 2003, Mattel released pregnant versions of Midge and Barbie in the Happy Family line. The dolls were constructed with hollow centers where a baby was stuck inside the Barbie's stomach and then covered with a magnetic belly atop of it. Remove the belly and let the nightmares commerce and there is a small child inside of that stomach. Kind of horrifying. Consumers complained that the dolls promoted teen pregnancy and there was a lot of unhappy parents. As it turned out, the families were not happy about this and consumers kept complaining that dolls promoted teen pregnancy because the dolls were sold without husbands and they weren't even wearing a wedding ring. So they were just a single teen girl with a pregnant baby. I 
could see how some families at the time might have had a problem with it, since it's an underage girl who is pregnant. So the doll caused a lot of controversy and was pretty quickly pulled off the shelves of the store. And Barbie didn't end up releasing another doll like that ever again. So the next one I'm going to be covering is Swearing Barbie. This one is called Talk and Barbie. It says, listen to me talk, record your voice, and Barbie doll repeats. We already know where this is going to head, but this doll had a lot of issues. So in September 2014, Mattel was forced to launch an investigation into a talking Barbie doll that sounded like it was screaming, what the F, in a very melodic way. Talena Evans, a mother from North Wales, told the Daily Mail that her daughter's talking Barbie, which was based on the web reality series Barbie's Life in the Dream House, sounded like she was saying, what the F, when she was supposed to be saying, off the hook, which is completely different wording. Evans took the doll away from her daughter and tried to return to the store from which she had purchased it because she was so upset that the doll sounded like it was cussing and encouraging her child to say cuss words, which obviously would be a huge concern for a parent who doesn't want to make a bad influence on her child. I mean, if the doll really was saying the F word, that would be very bad. Apparently saying off the hook, which was the thing that the doll was saying, was a common slur used in the web series that Barbie had. While the phrase might be heard differently by some who are not familiar with the show, all Mattel's products were created for both children and parents to enjoy and trust. So Mattel was very upset that that had happened with that particular Barbie because defects and issues do happen with dolls and toys, which might have not been the company's fault. But needless to say, a toy that talks and repeats could say anything or could be programmed to say anything. So the next doll we're going to be covering is the Kissing Barbie. This one is one of Barbie's most controversial dolls of all time and you're going to see why very shortly. So not only is the only point of this Barbie to make her kiss, but she also has the feature of making kissing and smooching sounds when she is being played with. The box of this doll says make her kiss and see her lips pucker. The doll's lips actually moved out of its face and puckered when she kisses and it kind of looks terrifying. It also reads hear the sound and see the lipstick mark. The doll comes included with a lipstick that you are supposed to apply to the lip of the doll and when you make it kiss something the lipstick mark stains onto whatever you make it kiss which is kind of weird and a little excessive for a toy. So of course it was teaching underage kids that it's okay to make out with boys or kiss other people at a very young age which obviously didn't sit well with most parents or should I say all because the kids that are playing with Barbie are very young and should not be worrying about kissing boys at such a young age. Stay in school kids. But yeah basically that doll didn't sit well nor did the commercial or any of the slogans on the box and those were ripped off the shelf pretty fast. So Barbie had a mistake with that doll. So the next doll we're going to be talking about is Ken in a dress. Yes, you heard me, Ken in a dress. So this one might not be exactly as it seems. As stylish as Ken looks, this wasn't actually meant to be this way. A Ken doll was wearing a dress and carrying a purse when he appeared on the shelf in Tampa Toys R Us in 1990. His box says, my first Ken. And the doll's tagline reads, he's a handsome prince. The image in the box shows Ken wearing a more traditional prince's outfit and posing with Barbie, who's wearing the dress that Ken was wearing in the box. So clearly he has on Barbie's clothing. Karina Goliath, who decided to purchase the doll, wondered if the cross-dress Ken doll was a sign that Mattel was moving towards more of an open-minded future for the dolls and putting more out there clothes on the boy dolls, which she probably should in the future. I think that'd be kind of cool to see some out there stuff. But of course not, the doll's outfit was more merely in a store clerk's prank. When Ron Zero confessed to the higher-ups at Toys R Us that he had changed Ken's clothing one night, that clerk actually got fired for pulling a silly prank that he found to be harmless. He lost his job for putting Ken in a dress, which I think is kind of a stupid reason to lose a job. Personally, I think Ken looked pretty stylish. I'm just saying. The spider Barbie. Okay, hear me out. Imagine a Barbie doll's head with the body of a literal spider. Yeah, long creepy spider legs that might have hairs on them with just a single lone Barbie doll head with hair sticking out of it. It almost reminds me of that really creepy doll that you guys see in Toy Story. Literally, that's what that Barbie reminds me of. It's actually terrifying and it looks like something that I would only be able to see in my nightmares, but luckily this doll was not an actual Barbie. It was actually just designed by a designer on Etsy who makes Barbie dolls into their creepiest forms. And honestly, if that's what they're going for, they do a really good job of it. It's honestly quite terrifying. Not my thing personally, because I am literally so scared of spiders. I don't know about you guys, but I am terrified of them. But this is quite the piece of art, like literally quite the piece of terrifying art. <laughs> so the next Barbie we're going to be talking about is a literal actual Barbie that was on the 
shelves of stores. This Barbie was called the Kissing Barbie. This Barbie was wearing a romantic dress of sheer pale pink nylon with a floral and kiss imprint pattern. And this doll was sold with a little tube of lipstick attached. This doll was created with a funny gimmick, actually. If you pressed a button on her back, her neck would lurch forward, thrusting her permanently puckered lips towards you in what was supposed to be a kissing motion. Even though it kind of looked more like she was about to peck out your eye with her nose, which is kind of terrifying. And if that's not crazy enough, this doll even came attached with love letters written to Ken for some crazy reason. And even worse, she apparently makes kissing sounds. Yeah, you heard me. Literal kissing sounds. I don't know what they were thinking. That is crazy. So the next big fail Barbie we're going to be talking about today is the SPF Barbie. Mattel released the Sun Gold Malibu Barbie in 1983. Per the box, the Beach Babe doll came with three pairs of sunglasses and a tote to towel bag. Perfect for spending hours and hours soaking up that cancer-causing UV rays you'd get at the beach. So basically, this doll was kind of like teaching kids to tan and sit in the sun with their Barbies. Maybe like they would bring this Barbie with them when they go to the beach so they can both tan together, but not really including the dangers of sun damage. That's right. Wear your sunscreen. This is not a threat. Sun damage is real, okay? I used to be really stubborn when I was younger about wearing a lot of sunscreen, especially because I played a ton of tennis when I was in high school and... And I'm really pale. If you guys couldn't tell, I'm pretty much ghost mode. You know, Danny Phantom, going ghost like they say. But skin cancer is seriously very serious and that's why it's not good to just directly, you know, get in the sun without some sunscreen or some kind of protectant. But in short story short, this doll backfired pretty bad because parents were getting mad that it was sending the wrong message to their children about tanning and that you're supposed to just go get perfectly tan or that being pale is not cool. So it obviously didn't end up sending a very good message to kids and had a bad influence and was pulled from the shelf. The next Barbie doll we're going to be talking about is the Share a Smile Becky doll. Share a Smile Becky is Barbie doll's first friend with a disability that was designed so that the Barbie doll would reflect the richness and the diversity of the real world. At the time, it seemed like the company was doing and saying all the right thing. They worked with the National Parent and Network Disabilities to design this doll. But however, there was one teensy maybe not teensy, pretty big problem with this doll. Kids who had this Becky doll eventually realized that her wheelchair that came with her was not able to fit through most of Barbie's dream houses and dream rooms, unfortunately. So much for leading the way for accessible play, as they would say. And that made a lot of kids upset because they had these big old Barbie dream houses where they wanted to roll their Barbie through the doors and have her feel included. No matter what her design was, you would have thought they would have made the wheelchair accessibly fit and all the other Barbie accessories and dream houses they made but no they did not think about that and of course this made a lot of kids very very upset that they did not think about that and parents were pretty upset too and it did not end well the next Barbie we're gonna be talking about is Barbie the computer engineer and it's crazy because if you guys didn't know Barbie has like a million different jobs like she does everything but Barbie the computer engineer let me tell you why this doll was problematic this doll was really Released in 2010 and the doll itself wasn't exactly the problem. It's the companion book that set off the alarm bells for this doll. In this book that came with the doll, Barbie is a video game designer but she needs the help of her male co-workers, Brian and Steve, to turn it into a real game according to the booklet. Things end up getting worse from there and Barbie accidentally infects her computer with a virus and she has to turn once again to Brian and Steve to save the day even though she was the computer engineer. So basically that was sending the complete wrong message to young girls saying that, hey, because you're a female, you might not be able to fix your computer by yourself even though you're a quote unquote computer engineer, which is totally again what Barbie was supposed to be going for. Barbie is supposed to be self-empowering and lifting girls and women up, but that one came across pretty wrong, honestly. Mattel eventually quickly pulled all the books from this Barbie from the store shelves. While the book itself was disappointing, the massive backlash against it was a source of encouragement. Mattel quickly backpedaled and pulled the book from stores, stating that it didn't reflect the brand's version for what Barbie stands for. But did it? I don't know. Conspiracy. The world may never know. I mean, it's a pretty interesting concept because Barbie's supposed to be a computer repair person, but why wouldn't she be able to fix the virus on her computer if she's a computer repair person? Like, 
What? So the next doll we're going to be talking about is the Growing Up Skipper doll. And this doll is extremely, extremely concerning. Let me tell you guys why. Growing Up Skipper provided young girls with a doll that could grow breasts and got taller by simply twisting her arm so that Skipper could grow right in front of your very eyes. This is not a good way to teach children how to grow up. You don't just twist your arm and then all of a sudden you grow. And um, the way that they conveyed this and just everything was just, it was not good. Basically when you twist Skipper's arm, you can make her torso stretch out an inch and her chest to somehow fill in. And then if you want to turn her back in time, just twist her arm the other way and Skipper, you know, changes a little bit. Meet new growing up Skipper. She's two dolls in one. Because when you turn her arm, you can make her change instantly from a little girl to a tall, slender teenage doll. <laughs> was a terrible idea. So basically they were trying to like, you know, help kids or young girls. In other words, realize how they grow and stuff. But just the whole way that that doll looked and how it grew and stuff like that came off kind of wrong to young girls and taught them some very interesting lessons. I don't really know what they were going for there, so that was an epic fail. And you want to know what else was an epic fail? Pregnant Barbies. Yes, you heard me. Preganto. Preganto, pre pre Preganto Barbies. <laughs> in 2003, Mattel released pregnant versions of Midge and Barbie in the Happy Family line. The dolls were constructed with hollow centers where a baby was stuffed and then covered with a magnetic belly. Consumers complained that the doll promoted teen pregnancy and that kids were playing with these dolls and then being like, you know, I want to have a baby. So pretty much just saying like, you know, having a pregnant Barbie was not a good influence on the children because they might think that, you know, they want to have a kid. And to make it worse, the dad dolls that were actually included in this packaging for these Barbies did not have rings on them. I mean, it just kind of conveyed the wrong message to kids because the pregnant Barbies were with their quote unquote fathers who they were not married to, which also made quite a few people pretty upset because they thought it was not a good influence on their children. The next Barbie doll is honestly a little bit unexpected to say the least. I know that Ken has his dolls, but have you heard of the Shaving Ken doll? Yeah, I haven't either. I never knew this was a thing. And I think this one might have been more directed towards boys. By the way, hi boys. If you guys are watching my channel, you're a real MVP. Comment down below, I'm a boy. So that I know that you're watching this right now because this one might have been directed towards young boys for some reason. Ken may not exactly be a Barbie doll, but he is part of the Barbie collection. What more fun could you have than shaving Barbie's boyfriend, as they'd say, right? Every kid's dream. Not really. Shaving fun Ken comes with shaving cream and a razor so that you can have a blast pretending to shave his face. This Ken doll actually has a color changing beard that's activated when the water is applied to it. So when it's wet, his beard actually does disappear. It's kind of ridiculous and it's quite the concept, but you know, I'm not sure if that one was too popular on the market and Barbie was more marketed towards girls, so I'm not really sure how to feel about that doll. It's just kind of weird. When Last but not least, we have one more doll to talk about. The Lounge Kitten Barbies. These Barbies came in a package where they were dressed as cats, really strange looking ones, while sitting on a shoe or lounging. Mattel decided that it would actually be great to not just create one special edition cat Barbie like this, but an entire collection of cat Barbies. I don't know about you guys, but that thing is hideous. Haunted Barbie doll. Okay, we need to take a look at this. Let's see. Haunted Barbie doll. Haunted Barbie doll. Oh, it did turn its head. Okay, that's weird. Oh my gosh, watch the replay. <gasps> she literally throws the doll. It just turned its head like a full 180. That is so creepy. Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't even have words for that because like there's no string attached to the Barbie. Like she's literally just playing with her dolls like normal girls would do and all of a sudden that Barbie whips its head to the side. No, she needs to burn that thing. So... This one says my Barbie's alive. That's the caption. That ain't no Barbie. Ain't no way. My Barbie is 300 years old. What? And she's alive. Every 300 year old Barbie? Is, is that alive. what they look like at 300? Your toys are sleeping and they can awake at any moment. Oh, hell no. Look at your toys in the eyes and tell me if <gasps> No, it that ain't no Barbie. That's like Barbie on 0%. I don't even want to know what Barbie would look like at 300 years old if that's a 300 year old Barbie. No, thank you. What is this? Barbie gets a cursed makeover? 
Okay, so there's these little Barbie dolls, and I guess they're going to give it a makeover. Oh, they're ripping her head off! Oh my gosh! Okay, so they're they're hot gluing their Barbies together. <laughs> what are they doing? Why are they making it stand like that? Oh my gosh! This is the kind of stuff I would do with my Barbies as a kid. Oh my god, they made her into a table and chairs! <gasps> that is so creepy! What are those Madagascar characters? <laughs> King Julian showed up at the end! Just randomly, let me go back there. Oh my goodness. Look at that, it's King Julian and his little rat friend. What is his rat friend's name? Um, I forgot. Oh my gosh, that is so creepy. They made it into a cursed Barbie table. I have no words, honestly, I'm stunned. Okay, what is this? Barbies are alive? That ain't no Barbie once again. I went to Ohio and Barbies Ohio. are alive and breathing like So Barbies people. look like in Ohio. These toys can hear and understand what we say. Can they? These Barbies are very smart. Oh my god. I'm a little scared. I'm more than scared. If that's Barbie from Ohio, then I'm gonna be staying away from Ohio, alright? We don't need to know what else is going down in Ohio. <laughs> what is this? Barbie has a much creepier history than I thought. In 2010, Barbie released a doll that had a camera on her necklace as well as a video screen on her back. <gasps> I've the heard of his doll! But there's a lot of rumors about what happened to this footage when it was recorded. Okay. So people have always theorized that the footage was collected and sold either by Mattel or by someone more nefarious. That would be so creepy. How easy it would have been for hackers to collect- Yeah, the FBI literally had to issue an alert for Barbie dolls that were built with these cameras inside of their chests. I've actually done a video about this before. But some people thought that people are using them to spy on children with these little dolls. Oh my gosh, that's so creepy. FBI even put out a statement about it. That's Barbie crazy. also released and discontinued the Hello doll, which could listen to children and respond with over 8,000 pre-recorded answers. That one was too a advanced. Lot of parents worried it was that like these AI. Dolls were potentially recording their children and then selling that data. But what? this doll also has really no concerning way. reviews. Like people say that the doll won't take no for an answer. Like what? if she asked if you wanted to hear a story and then you said no, she would actually push back and then just tell you the story anyway. That's creepy! And the doll also has really specific and targeted questions about children, like how really? big their families were and if they had any siblings. That's was so scary. Was this doll just collecting market data on children or was it something much weirder? I feel like it could have been something much weirder and something much, much deeper, especially if the FBI had to get involved with the specific Barbie, then um, I would be concerned for my kids to have it or for anyone to own the thing, honestly. They took them off the shelves for a good reason and uh, now there's no Barbies with webcams in the middles of their chests after that one got recalled. Barbie horror film. Barbie comes to life. Barbie come to life. Follow us into the night. Let the devil give you light. What? Barbie come to life. Follow us into the night. Let the devil give you light. This is evil. What the? No way. She's coming to life. They did a Barbie chant and it worked! That ain't no Barbie. Oh. Now they're all screaming? Okay, she's gonna go attack them. Wait, what? Okay, that was the most random video ever. They did a Barbie come to life chant and they had their Barbie come to life and then it came and kicked their butt. All right, well, that's why you don't play Barbies in the 3am. What is it? Another big Barbie that's 300 years old? What is up with all these Ohio Barbies? Never give a giant Barbie pizza. A giant Barbie, Barbie never having had food pizza. She had a nightmare and she freaked out. What? Now she's looking for more pizza. What does she she's want pizza? Apples on her pizza. Same. Delicious. <laughs> that is the most random thing I've ever seen in my life. Anyways, Ohio, another freaking Ohio Barbie. Why? Why? I I can't take too many more of these Ohio Barbies, guys. This 300-year-old Barbie is being introduced to his younger brother. What? <laughs> Barbie doesn't realize that Minnie is a toy. No. Barbie is wacky. That cannot be Barbie, guys. Comment down below. Do you guys think that this is 300-year-old Barbie from Ohio and his son? <laughs> I have so many concerns. These videos are gonna keep me up at night for real. Me as a Barbie. Oh, have you guys seen this trend where everyone's thinking like their pets are themselves and then it swipes you into a Barbie? I remember this trend. Okay, let me see. Me as a Barbie, okay. Oh, why is it standing on all fours like that? Okay, wait. That is so creepy. Oh my gosh, I don't like it. What's this? What are they digging up? Oh! There's a Barbie in the dirt! Okay. Um, are they gonna just bury it and casually act like they never found a weird Barbie in the dirt? 
are they doing? I don't know. Oh! <laughs> it followed them to their truck. They were like, yeet! Not today. It's in their bag. Go away, devil Barbie. <laughs> How did it get here? I just put it away. Oh my gosh, you can't get rid of that thing. It's gonna be everywhere. No, you did not. Just yeet it again. I gotta sit down. Let me guess, the Barbie's in the brick. No? Wait a minute, phew? It's not in the brick. Where is it then? Oh! How'd she get there? He just like slaps it. What is Barbie doing these days? Running around and various places across the USA just causing tear across the neighborhoods. We love it. Now it's gonna drive the car? How is this video gonna escalate? Is he gonna get attacked by a little Barbie doll? I'm so confused and concerned. He just got in his truck and he's just gonna go in there with Barbie? Don't tell me the Barbie's gonna drive. Oh, look at it. It's a cursed Barbie. Whoa, look at its eyes! Okay. I've seen enough of you, Barbie. You've caused too much terror in this town. Especially in Ohio. We don't talk about Ohio Barbie, but that is... <laughs> that's that's not a normal Barbie. That's a, that's a demon. The scariest dolls, I need to know. No, these are the scariest dolls. We got Annabelle, Annabelle. Megan, and Pregnant Barbie. Pregnant wait, 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 Barbie! Hold on, what? You know what the plastic... <laughs> baby inside of her? <laughs> oh, I've seen that Barbie! Wasn't it's that so thing creepy. Banned? So yeah. yeah, it got discontinued because oh, kids yeah. were asking questions and confused why there was a freaking baby, baby in her doll. In Parents doll. were also concerned about how young the Barbie looked, but even the fact that she didn't have a wedding ring. I honestly thought it was a kangaroo. They thought it was a kangaroo? How? I have so many questions. What is going on here? Barbie's on the couch? She about to Netflix and chill? Barbie. That was scary. That was scary? Oh, she's watching horror movies. Unknown caller! Okay, Barbie, who's calling you? Hello? Hello, Sydney? No, this is Barbie. Oh, wrong number. Have a nice night. Oh my gosh! <gasps> that, be? that ain't- that ain't normal, Barbie. All right. What? <gasps> no, no, no! They forgot my ranch! <laughs> I did not expect that to end up this way. She literally thought she was gonna get killed watching a horror movie. She ordered Postmates her food, and then they forgot her ranch. Like, that is such a tragedy. Okay, Barbie. I don't have words. I've, I'm lost for words, honestly. Haunted dolls come moving on camera. I need to see this. Is this gonna be another Barbie? All right. Barbie dolls! Oh, I already know. They're about to be cursed. What is this Barbie gonna do? Is this the same one that turned his head? Oh, yeah, it is! Oh my gosh, okay. Wait, what is this unnamed haunted doll? This ain't a Barbie. What is it gonna do? Is it gonna move? Oh, it moved! Okay, we didn't need to see that. I'm scared. What is that? Okay, um, that's an ugly doll. Okay, let's, let's take a look. Where'd I get my hair done? What does she sound uh, like that? You. Um, I got it my breath you did my hair. That ain't Barbie, that's Borbie. From Ohio. I like seafood. Yeah. <laughs> and oysters and clams. Oysters and clams? I don't think Barbie would eat those. Wait, what? Ah, that's literally my nightmares. I hate her. I hate her so much. What is this? Ew. I hate this audio. Ew, what are they doing to the Barbie? They rubbed it in so videos anymore anyways guys that's gonna do it for today's video of watching and reacting to the most cursed barbie videos on the internet if you guys enjoyed smash a like and subscribe to join the family and i'll see all of you guys in the next video also let me know if you guys are gonna be watching the barbie movie i don't know if i'm gonna see it it looks interesting see you guys in the next video bye guys